With no British seeds in the 1954 men's singles, the crowd favourite at this year's Wimbledon Championships is a player who holds the unusual distinction of having competed for three different countries. Yaroslav Drobny made his Wimbledon debut in 1938 for his native Czechoslovakia. But a year later, with his country under Nazi occupation, he represented the protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia. After the war, he fled his homeland to escape the communist regime, and having been refused papers by Switzerland, America and Australia, has played at Wimbledon since 1950 as an Egyptian citizen. Now, in the men's final, on July the 2nd, 1954, he has the chance to win the African nation its first ever Wimbledon title. But he still needs to defeat rising Australian star Ken Rosewall. After winning the first set 13-11, to the relief of his English wife, Rita, Drobny then loses the second, but outclasses his teenage opponent in the third. And the tension reaches fever pitch in the fourth set, as the debonair 32-year-old serves for the match. On his 11th visit here, Yaroslav Drobny is the champion. The Czech exile with an Egyptian passport has found another home at Wimbledon. <laughs>